I'm Oliver Picard and welcome to my workshop in beautiful Le Maison, France. Today is a very special day. Today is a day that I'm really excited about. It is a video that I've been waiting to make for ages. Now, a while ago I bought Pandora, my lovely little Cox GTM mid-engine rally monster. And originally this car was fit with a classic mini engine, a 1275cc cast iron block four speed little transverse engine. It was the first transverse engine ever fit into a production car. Super cool. And in 1964, that was the best that they could do. But I think in 2020, we can do better. So I asked you all what engine you think I should put in Pandora. And I had some really cool answers. Everything from three cylinder Suzuki engines to rotary engines to Rover engines to all sorts. Uh, Fiat 500 twin air engines, all sorts of bizarre stuff. And a lot of you also said, stick with an Austin A-Series. Years and years and years ago, I actually designed a Mini that, uh, that I've always wanted to build because I didn't think I'd be able to get a Cox GTM. But now I've got a Cox GTM, I had to find the engine that I've always wanted to put in a tiny little mid-engine car like this. I had to find the best possible engine for this car, and I think I might have just found it. So, what have I bought? How big of a shoehorn am I going to need to stick it into this teeny tiny little car? The engine that I've bought, I'm nervous, why am I nervous? <laughs> the engine that I've bought is a K20A2 from a Honda. and oh what an engine. Some of you may remember that a few weeks ago I made a video about kind of underrated performance cars, attainable underrated performance cars, and one of the cars on that list was the Integra DC5 or the RSX Type S. And this is the engine from that car. And I'm really excited to have it. This is an engine that I've wanted for a really, really long time. And it's completely badass. This engine from factory makes 200 horsepower, which is a little bit more than the 120 maximum horsepower that, uh, that this car made from factory. In fact, it's, it's nearly double. <laughs> because let's, why not? I, I figured that this will be the fastest car that I will ever own, pretty much. And so, why not go all the way and why not make the best thing that I can make? Because all the way through this build, I've tried to do that. I've tried to make things the best that I can and I've tried to engineer things and design things to be the best that I can and that all falls short if I don't put the best possible engine in my little Pandora. So, let me run you through this engine, where it came from and why it looks the way it does. From factory, this engine makes 200 brake horsepower and the car it comes out of, the Integra and the Civic, weigh around 1200 kilos and propel this car from zero to 60, or oh, that's zero to 100 kilometers an hour, in around six seconds. That's twice the weight of Pandora because Pandora is going to weigh around 600 kilos when she's finished. So this is going to be a really, really fast car. I worked out the power to weight ratio, and the power to weight ratio is better than a Lamborghini Murcielago or a Corvette Z06. She's going to absolutely fly. This is like Group B rally car quick. But the eagle-eyed amongst you will have noticed this is not a standard K20A2. This engine has already been gone over by its previous owner. Apparently it has some Skunk 2 cams in it. It also has an AM intake. It has this um, this better manifold and it has a different throttle body because the throttle bodies on K-series engines can be problematic. That's not really why I bought this. I bought this engine because it's been completely gone over appar apparently. Um, it's had a new timing chain. It's got new timing chain guides. 
it's uh, it's been completely serviced and completely taken apart and gone over and put back together again with a load of uh, ARP bolts. So fingers crossed, this isn't something that I'll need to worry about because I've got a lot of work to do. I've got a lot of fabrication stuff to do. I've got a chassis to make. I've got a roll cage to make. I've got suspension to make. So really, I didn't want to be building an engine. A lot of people, when I asked for suggestions for engines, said, oh, you can take this engine and that engine and put them together and make this third engine. And I'm like, that's, that's not really something that I want to do. I want reliability and I want a car that I can drive a really long way in reasonable comfort. And this is exactly that. Now, you may notice this gearbox doesn't look like it belongs to this engine. And that's because it doesn't. This engine came from the north of England. And, uh, oh yeah, it's also got AN fittings on the back of the uh, cam cover. These AN fittings are so you can fit an oil catch cam, but you can hard mount it with uh, with braided hoses, so that's quite cool. Like I say, I'm not, I'm not a massive fan of this red. Uh, I don't know whether I'm gonna keep the red or not. I don't know about that. It's a bit, it's a bit hot boy flat brim. Um, you know, what's the word? Max power. <laughs> I don't know about the red, but like I said, this gearbox, this gearbox actually came from Normandy. And this is, this is the sort of ingenuity that coronavirus has forced in this garage. I've got an engine from the north of England and a gearbox from Normandy. And uh, I've also got the shafts, but um, the shafts and the gearbox both came from Normandy because this engine originally had a Quaife sequential six-speed gearbox attached to it. And so I didn't get a clutch. I didn't get many things with it. I did get a clutch. The guy said, oh, I'll get you a clutch, don't worry. And the clutch that came with it is near death and has no bolts for it. So I'm not gonna bother with that. I'll put a brand new clutch on it when I put it all together. Because like I say, I want the, uh, I want the most reliable package I possibly can. And I'm still going to mess with this engine because I'm an idiot. Um, I'm still going to do stuff to this engine to make it better than it is already. Uh, I don't want the heater on it or anything like that because there will be a heater in this car, but I have a lightweight heater design that uh, that I know works, so I'm going to use that instead. And this is the correct gearbox for this car, even though it's from France. It is the six speed, but it doesn't have limited slip diff in it like the Japanese ones do. And so that might be something that I can sort out in the future. This was a, a big thing for me. I, I really wanted the six speed and I wanted the option to use a limited slip diff so that she'll cruise really well on the motorway. But this engine, I have to fit back here somehow. Um, what? All of that engine has to fit in here. And it's a very tiny space. I don't know whether I'm going to have much boot left at the end of it. But uh, it will, that intake, that throttle body, will be right behind my right ear. And I really needed the engine here before I started work on the firewall and the back of the chassis and stuff like that. This is why I've been making components for the chassis, things like the, the center tunnel and the inner sills, but I haven't been making things like the firewall because I need that engine here in order to do it. And I need the engine mounts, which I don't have yet. But, um, oh, I'm excited. She's gonna be an absolute beast. Another cool thing that the previous owner did was fit a baffled sump so that when I drive around a corner quickly, all the oil isn't gonna slosh to one side of the sump and starve the engine of oil. So that's super cool. Now, I'm aware that this is, this much engine in this tiny little short wheelbase car is a lot. I'm aware that it is like using a cannon to kill a mosquito. No, it's not. It's like mounting the cannon to the mosquito and creating super mega cannon mosquito. It's, it's turning it all the way to 11. This is, <laughs> this is ludicrous. It is bananas. It is a lot of engine. In fact, when I was a little kid in the north of England, my local police station had EP3 Civic Type R's as their police cars. They also used to use Subaru Impreza, WRX, STI, P1s. And the reason why they use this engine is in those cars is because it is one of the best four cylinder engines ever produced. It's a lot. 
it's too much. It's like I say, it is turning it all the way to eleven, and I love it. It's superb, and it is the heart of Pandora. And in that sense, it makes it it kind of makes sense that it's red, being the heart of the car, doesn't it? But um, it's mega. This this engine, how much power does it make? I honestly don't know. I will be happy with. 200 horse at the wheels, but there is a good chance that at the flywheel this engine makes 250, 260, 270, I don't know. Um, and by the time I'm done with it, and by the time I've done what I want to do with it, it may actually make even more. So, <laughs> that's not, it, it's not an, on purpose, that's kind of a by, the power will be a byproduct of doing other stuff that will suit the car, and, uh, and reducing weight and stuff, so I honestly don't know, but it, it it's going to be a lot. I'll be happy with 200 horse at the wheels to be honest because like I say it is so much power uh, and it is such a tiny lightweight car and this engine is from a car that weighs twice as much as Pandora, don't forget that. So this engine isn't even going to know that Pandora is there. It, it's, um, it'll be brilliant because I'll be able to go down the motorway in sixth turning almost no revolutions and getting really good fuel economy but also with the VTEC when when I want to rev it out and raise hell I'll be able to and um, tell me what you think down in the comments below is this too much engine for Pandora have I bitten too much off have I bitten off more than I can chew have I created or am I creating an unholy incredibly cute abomination have I put the supercar back in the Cox GTM. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. How crazy do you think I am? <laughs> to put this, all of this in, in this. It's gonna be fun, isn't it? But um, that's that's it. No matter what way it goes, it'll be incredibly entertaining for you. So if you, want, if you want to see my social media, if you want to know what's happening in between videos, then all of that is down in the description below. Tell me what you think. In the comments i always read every single one as you know if you want to support this channel the best way to do that is to share these videos on social media and stuff with your friends so thank you all for watching please be awesome for each other and i'll see you all in the next video bye bye